Um, my name's Kyle, um, since I'll, I'll introduce myself. Um, and uh, first of all, I want to thank the church, and I really want to thank y'all for giving um, me and Gunnar the ability and opportunity uh, to go uh, to the Dominican. Um, there's a couple ways that I, I want to thank you. Um, the first being is that when you gave us the opportunity to go, okay, you, uh, you gave us the opportunity to minister to the people there, okay? You gave us the opportunity to minister to the people there and to serve them. And Christ was glorified and Christ was taught and the gospel was preached because of um, y'all giving to us and uh, letting us be able to go uh, with the BSU. The second is that I thank y'all for also supporting the Meridian BSU, um, the MCC campus, campus, and the, uh, it's also, the Meridian BSU, if you don't know this, is the BSU for MCC, and also for the state branch in Meridian, so it's both campuses, and I want to thank you also for, when you supported us, you supported the BSU ministry, and our campus ministry, and it, it, the people on campus, the ones who live on campus at MCC, um, we, ha we do a lot with them, and some of the people who uh, come to BSU had never um, gone on a mission trip, um, have never really experienced uh, telling people the gospel, and have never been around a group of Christians like that. So when you supported us, you also supported them and encouraged them when they went with us, okay? For the very first time, uh, some girls and some guys got to share the gospel with other people and they for most part I would say that they've probably never done that before they never taken that next step in their faith and you let them do that okay uh, we encourage them and just like you encourage us to go so uh, and they enjoyed the trip and they grew in their faith because of it all right and then thirdly <coughs> is um, when you sent us through the BSU uh, you were obedient you were obedient to Christ, all right? You were obedient, obedient to Christ's command to go. His command to go and make disciples, and God was glorified by that. So I want to thank you um, for those uh, three main things. And then I, I want to tell a short story, and then I'm going to read a passage of Scripture, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, so while we were down uh, in the Dominican, they play a lot of baseball, okay? And one of the main things that we do is baseball ministry. Okay, which we go to uh, some baseball parks, and we'll play with the guys there who play baseball, and we'll, we'll get to talk to them. We'll get to spread the gospel that way. Well, one day we were going down uh, to the field, and they were, of course, there was two teams kind of playing a, a game against each other. I think there was two just, I think they were playing against themselves. I'm not sure. But there was a, another team sitting in the stands, kind of dressed out, watching what was happening and just watching the game. So we decided as a group that we would go sit with them. And we did. We went and sat beside them. And the opportunity came to where we were either going to tell a Bible story to them or share a testimony. And I volunteered to share a testimony, and I, I did it based on, on sports, okay? I, I talked about how I played sports and how they played baseball. And that's what really I talked about and um, talked about Christ and shared Christ with them. But um, really what I'm trying to say is that these guys – grow up in a, in a place that is full of poverty, and baseball for them is their way out, okay? They practice day in, day out, and do this. So they can make it to the next level, all right, and hopefully get out of the state that they're in. And I was just trying to share with them that even though sports are important, you know, Christ is more important when it comes to eternal things. And what really brought this home, was, uh, home for me was when we were – in, in the Dominican, we were in the town. One day, we went to um, a graveyard in the town. And uh, we, we walk into the graveyard, and we were just looking around. It's, I know it's kind of a weird story because we were in the graveyard. But we were there, and this might sound a little graphic to some of you, but there's um, the way they bury their people is above ground. And it's like in shelves, all right? And they're concreted like rectangular boxes. And they just slide the body in and then seal over it. Well, the catch to it is, is that those are not permanent, okay? Your family, after you pass and they put you in there, has to pay like a rent 
for the, for the box, for the, the place that you're buried. And eventually, when you stop paying it, they take the body out and make room for another person. Uh, but in the middle of the, the graveyard, and uh, this is kind of where it hits, is that there's this circle thing and then there's a cross. And right beside the cross, there's about a two foot by two foot box that we actually looked in. And it's full of body bags where they take the people out and put in the hole, okay, they put in the pit, in these bags. And it's just bodies in these bags just decaying. All those dreams that they had while they were alive are gone. All those things they were going to do are gone. I'm sure that there was men in there who, uh, when they were younger, played baseball and was thinking about having a future in baseball, but it didn't work out and it disappointed them, okay? But when you sent us, you sent us to be able to share with those kids, okay, the gospel, and that they may be disappointed um, if it doesn't work out for them in sports, but through Christ, hearing the gospel, us being able to tell them the gospel, they can know that if they come to faith in Christ, we got to share, I got to tell them that Christ died for them in their place, okay? And that even though life has its appointments, and as Christians, we know that life has our, we have disappointments, and it might be hard being a Christian, but we know that one day it will be completely worth it because we get to see Jesus. We get to be with Jesus. And this is what we're trying to stress to the people on mission, is that Jesus is the most important thing. They don't understand a lot of this. And for the first time, for them, it might have been the first time that they've heard the gospel. So uh, I'm going to open up to, and it, we've talked about this before when we've done mission reports and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and turn there. It's uh, Matthew 28, 18. It's the Great Commission. And um, y'all don't have to turn there with me. I'll just read it. If you want to, you can, though. This is what it says. It says, Then Jesus came near and said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, excuse me, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, and remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Okay? So the, this command here, or this, what Christ is saying, the church and us, the BSU, the Christians, were obedient to the command. And Christ w went with us. So fruit is going to... To be, um, we are going to bear fruit. Fruit is going to come from our ministry in the Dominican. People are going to come to know Christ. And people are going to come to know Christ because y'all sent us. And we, we can't thank you enough for doing that. Okay, y'all have a part in that ministry. Y'all have a part in, in our ministry. And we, I want to say thank you for that. Um, looking at verse 19, uh, the word go there. Um, is actually the word used there. Um, I think it's gr in the Greek is um, not really go, but as you go. Not go somewhere and make disciples, but as you go, do these things. As you go, make disciples. As you go, baptize them in the Father, name of the Holy Spirit, and then teach them to observe everything I have commanded you. So as you go, as you walk daily, make disciples. As you go throughout your day, everything, you're, you don't, we don't get to use the, some of us do, and I have before, we don't get to use the excuse of, we got to go somewhere to make disciples. No. Every day when I wake up and as I go, I make disciples. That should be what we think as Christians. As we go, we make disciples. And I just want to thank y'all again for letting us and giving us the opportunity to do that. Okay? Um, some of the children down there might be eternally grateful for the giving of the church. All right. That's all I've got to say. Um, thank y'all. Um, and Gunnar is going to come up and, or we're going to sing. Okay. We're going to sing, and then Gunnar is going to come up and speak.